All right, so this is the alpha level for Matthew C. And it's the, it's the same as first grade. So after the primer, you'd move up to alpha. And um, like I said in the other video, I'll repeat if you have not watched the primer one, but Matthew C has 30 lessons. So it's for about 30 weeks for the school year. So most, the school year is 36 weeks. So you have some extra time to play with in case you need to catch up or the child needs more help. So this is the next one. So alpha, they build up. So the kids really learn their concepts, plus the fact that they're using the blocks, these, to learn units, tens, hundreds, and everything else, and how to add, um, which is perfect for hands-on wiggly learners, too. And it makes math a little bit more fun. So it's single-digit addition and subtraction. So the first half of the book's addition, the last half is subtraction. Now the student packs come with the workbook, and the test. So the tests are skinny here. And the workbook, of course, I've used a lot of that one. And then the teacher pack comes with the teacher manual and the DVD. Now, these look different than these because these are the newer ones. I've had these forever. <laughs> so like they're like eight years old. But what you do, the teacher manual is perfect because it has all the answers in the back for the test and the workbook. And then has goes lesson by lesson to help your child learn that concept for the day but you're not alone because you have a DVD <laughs> so it's perfect because um, Steve Dem or Demi I don't know how to pronounce his last name but he's the one who does Matthew C he's the one on the video and he's fun with the kids and he's tutored and taught for years he knows what he's doing so he makes math fun and applies to real life and why you would need math and how to do it in your day-to-day so what you do is you just pop in the DVD and it has the short lesson and then you have a teacher book to help you and then they just do it. And so each lesson has the big old number there. So the first day you learn the new concept on the DVD and then you do your worksheet. So they have A, B, and C and that's the new concept. And then the next day you, it has D, E, and F and those are review. So it, it uses what you just learned plus the stuff that you've been learning for the past, you know, beginning of the year. So it builds on each other. You don't need all the worksheets. If your child's flying through it and knows, I usually just do the first worksheet. Maybe the second if they're kind of shaky on it. But I rarely do the third one. I usually just throw away this one or the younger kids color on it. So then, like I said, the second day, you can do the D, E, and F, or just the D or the E. And then since this is first grade, it's still fun and young, and, and so they have a G. It's just an added application and enrichment. So it's usually just fun com concepts for the math. And then that's it. And then, like the primer, they have more learning to tell time in the back. So that is fun to do for that. And then, oh, at the end of each book... They have a, I'm trying to do this one-handed, sorry. They have a congratulations, you have completed it. A little certificate, you are a math whiz. You're becoming a math whiz. So then it tells you the next book that you graduate to. There you go. So that's it for Alpha. Oh, and a tip. Um... These are consumable, like I said. When you get into bigger grades, I have my kids write their answers on a notebook, or just a spiral notebook, and that way I can save these. So if you have a lot of kids, it's a great way to save money so you don't have to keep buying them. You buy them for the oldest kid and you have them. <laughs> but um, since, since these are younger ones, that's why I have the older version of this and the newer ones. But the newer ones look nice. So, All right, so that's it for Alpha.